Hello! Welcome aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independent Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Greg, and today we are continuing our Ask Me Anything series about the submarine. Today's question is, what is the TDC? TDC stands for Torpedo Data Computer, and it functions as a basic fire control system for our torpedo tubes. Launching a torpedo presents a unique fire control problem. Unlike surface ships, which have turrets or traversable gun mounts that allow that ship to aim its weapon at its target, submarines cannot aim their torpedo tubes in the same way. This means that a torpedo can only be launched either directly ahead or directly astern of a submarine, which means the submarine itself has to be aimed at the intercept point in order for the torpedo to successfully strike its target. The TDC helps to alleviate this problem. Able to continuously track a target, the TDC allows the submarine to fire its torpedo tubes without first calculating for a future firing position and then adjusting course in order to navigate to that firing position. This was a significant advancement over earlier fire control systems, which could only calculate a fire control solution for a specific point in time. This meant the fire control party had to hope that none of the variables involved in the fire control problem changed in order for the fire control solution to remain valid by the time the submarine reached that point in order to fire. Because the TDC continuously updates, it only gets more accurate with time. This means that a commanding officer can fire his torpedoes at the precise moment he feels his odds of success to be the greatest. At its most basic, the TDC is an analog computer that uses gears and cams to take into account certain variables, such as the target's range, speed, and bearing. It'll take those variables and compare them to the submarine's own speed and bearing, and from there solve a complex trigonometric problem that produces a numerical value which we call the gyro angle. Once the TDC has solved for the gyro angle, it transmits that value to the gyro setter. There is one gyro setter in each torpedo room, located between the tubes. During an attack, the gyro setter is manned by a sailor wearing a set of sound-powered headphones. These put him in contact with the assistant TDC operator in the conning tower, and his job is to ensure the gyro setter is reading the same value that the TDC came up with in order to ensure the correct value has been transmitted. Once the correct value has been confirmed, the setter will then transmit that value into the gyroscope of the loaded torpedo. It does this via a spindle mechanism that extends from the interior wall of the torpedo tube and interfaces with a slot on the torpedo. As the spindle turns, it'll set the gyroscope to the correct value, and once that has been completed, the weapon is then ready to be launched. When the torpedo is launched, it will travel in a straight line up to a predetermined distance. This distance is called the reach. When the torpedo comes to the end of the reach, the gyroscope will activate and cause the weapon to turn in the water until its course has been altered a number of degrees that is equivalent to the value of the gyro angle. It will then resume a straight line and if we've done our job correctly, hopefully strike the target at the intercept point. Well that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know by liking and sharing. Our Ask Me Anything series is a continuously running series, so if you have questions about submarine Bakuna or submarines in general, leave them in the comments down below and maybe you'll see them answered in a future video. As always, thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.